Okay, with new strings, let's make a video for Vivaldi. So first, we're gonna do upper half. Let's do martelet, so we're gonna practice your bite. Right, wiggle your string. Practice your bite. Ooh, that sounds weird. So bite, and then fast bow. And then we talked about, so we'll do, you can practice with a rest, so. Rest, 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 rest. You can move a little so you have enough bow for your quarter. Then shift, martelet. So during your rest, grab the string. Wiggle the string. Okay, and so the first time is forte, the second time is piano. So let's try it now at a tempo. One, so let's do bum, 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 about that tempo. So one, two, one. Piano. So still bite. You need some rosin or new bow hair. <laughs> you can travel. Okay. Now here, first just get the pitches. Check with your E. So B e and C touch. Leave your fingers down. Touch. Then replace, think two whole steps, right, so. Replace. Close half steps, really touching, not, not like that, right, so. Shift to third, open E. Shift while you're playing open E. Make sure whole step, half step. Hook, equal. Make sure that's whole step, whole step. Half step, really close. Whole step, harmonic. Okay, then back to first position. Okay, so now let's do that in a tempo. So one, two. Remember, we're gonna do a little crescendo for direction. Stay crescendo. You can do an echo if you want. Crescendo, accent, sforzando. Okay, uh, so when you add it, when you're doing the crescendo, you have to practice less bow, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more, or think of your weight. Less weight, a little bit more, a little bit more weight, most weight. More weights, a little bit less, a little bit less, gradual. So it's gradual, not right away, right? So, okay, so now looking at 29, again we have martelet, so using your first finger. Get that bite in the string. Then piano. And again, make sure these pitches are correct. So, uh, so open E while you do that. You're going to replace where that was. Replace it. Make sure it's C natural. And then 
one, half step, whole step. So. Then shift, replace where the one is with three, going to third, first position. Now be careful here. Whole step. Now low one. Don't do this. <clears throat> take your pinky off if you need to. If you're gonna lock it, take it off. Then echo. Now for this, it changes bowing. So up, down, up, down, up, slur, separate, slur, hook. Okay, so really practice that. Up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Now again, the bowing is tricky here. So separate, slur, separate, slur. And be careful with the spacing again. Make sure the whole steps are wide enough. So, same bowing, low one. And then you can do, you can shift here. So, now across the string, put one. So, practice that a bunch of times. Then we have whole step. Half step across strings. So shift. Low two for C. Make sure it's not too high. So low. Again, reach back. Low one. And this one is block. So on both strings. sharp touch. So high three. But then make sure B is still low enough. So it's two whole steps. And so you go from high three to regular. So don't go. It'll be the wrong note. Low. Okay, regular. Then low two. Shift on the open E again to third position, high one on D sharp, check your E with open E, trill, so D sharp to E is the trill, back to first, okay. So now do you want me to play that slowly? Just the whole thing? Yeah. Okay. So how about that, 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 is that a good tempo? Yeah. Is that slow enough? Okay. So from the beginning, one, two, one, two, one.
Okay? Do you yeah. want it any faster? That's good. That's good. That's good? Okay. Yeah.